So in today's video we will be learning about prostaglandins and how they facilitate us in peptic ulcer. So what prostaglandin do? Prostaglandin E is released from gastric mucosa. So if this is the stomach mucosa of stomach will release prostaglandins prostaglandin E which will cause inhibition of secretion of acid so this will in in turn inhibit acid if you want to have a less of the acid inside your stomach what you need is prostaglandin not only decreased concentration of acid happen but also prostaglandin stimulate mucus this will protect the uh, stomach lining from being damaged by the acid prostaglandin also secrete some bicarbonates which also have cytoprotective effect which mean it protect your uh, cells of the stomach lining so now uh, we have learned about prostaglandin they have three function first of all they stimulate mucus secretion and they increase bicarbonate secretion which has a cytoprotective effect and third one is that they inhibit acid secretion all of these effects are beneficial but what happen when there is deficiency of these prostaglandins obviously there will be uh, no secretion of mucus there will be less of the bicarbonates present and there will be increase of acid secretion in this way all of these things will be reversed in that way it will not facilitate our stomach in any way but it will uh, cause the damage of stomach lining by causing by causing peptic ulcer so that's why prostaglandin are involved in the pathogenesis uh, of peptic ulcer in every disease when there is decrease of something we give that patient something externally which has analogous effect of that thing so in this case we use misoprostol which is actually analog of prostaglandin E1 so what will happen that misoprostol will act or will bind to prostaglandin receptor in this way when there will be binding of there will be binding of misoprostol over prostaglandin receptor what will happen there will be initiation of these factors which are stimulation of mucus secretion increase in biocarbonates and decrease or inhibition of acid secretion and this agent misoprostol is approved for prevention of ns8 induced gastric ulcers which means it is not being used for the treatment uh, rather it is used for the prevention if someone uh, elderly or patient having previous history of ulcers are now taking NSAID which which can easily cause ulcer in them because NSAID have side effect of causing peptic ulcer at regular intake 
so if a patient is already prone to peptic ulcer because of his previous history and now he is taking NSAID also so there are double chances of uh, causing or having uh, peptic ulcer in such patient so in this way we have to use or we have to give some preventary measure to that patient we can prescribe such patients misoprostol so we are using in elderly or patient having previous history of peptic ulcer and one thing to be remembered that misoprostol is contraindicated in pregnancy and why it is so because in pregnancy misoprostol can cause uterine contraction which can cause premature labor not only this but it can also cause miscarriage if we talk about its ADRs which are adverse drug reaction it includes diarrhea and nausea which are uh, common dose related adverse effects these adverse effects cause the limitation of this agent so that's why we mostly use PPIs which are proton pump inhibitors in case of NS8 induced ulcers. So this was all about prostaglandin for peptic ulcer. Let's revise it for once again. So prostaglandins are uh, released from the parietal cell and they cause the inhibition of acid secretion into the stomach. Not only this, they also cause the increase uh, or stimulation of mucus into the stomach, which facilitates lining of stomach walls. It also increases the biocarbonate level, which acts as cytoprotective, and because of its deficiency, it can cause peptic ulcer because uh, all of these factors will be reversed in that case. So, in this way, it is involved in pathogenesis. To overcome this uh, prostaglandin deficiency, uh, we discussed about the misoprostol, which is an analog of prostaglandin E1. How it works is that it binds to the prostaglandin receptor E1 and causes activation of uh, these three things, which are stimulation of mucus secretion and increased bicarbonate production and decrease or inhibition of acid secretion into the stomach. After that, we have discussed that it can be used as the prevention of NS8 induced gastric ulcer. It is not used as the treatment of peptic ulcer, rather it is used as the prevention. Patients who are elderly or patients which have a previous history of peptic ulcer, so if such patients are now taking NS8 as therapy, they are now prone to NS8 induced gastric ulcer. So to prevent it uh, from happening, we can use misoprostol as preventary measure. And the other thing we have learned in this is that misoprostol is contraindicated in pregnancy. And why it is so? Because misoprostol can cause uterine contraction, not only uterine contraction, but it can also cause miscarriage. So it should be completely avoided. And ADRs of misoprostol are mostly dose related, which are diarrhea and nausea which cause the limitation of this agent so therefore proton pump inhibitors are preferred over misoprostol for the prevention or treatment of ns8 induced ulcers if you have any questions related to the topic let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching my videos